and on behalf of Francis and Mark, my wife, as the father of Troy, and on behalf of Francis and Mark, my wife, Denise, Rita, Mark's mother, and Roger, Mark's father, I would like to thank you all for coming to support and show your love for Francis and Mark on this very special day. Some folks have travelled a long way to be here. We have Ellen, who has come from Sweden, and Francis's godmother, Janet, and her family have come all the way from Toronto. Uh, it's lovely to have you with us. <laughs> yeah. There are some people who have been, some people have been very special for Francis as she grew up, but they can't be with us physically today. But I am sure that they are, are here in spirit. That is her nanny Joan, grandpa, and granddad. Francis, they were always very proud of you, and I know, and I know that you would be very proud. They would be very proud of you today and would have been pleased to welcome Mark into the family. We do have my mum, Nanny Ruth, here present to represent them. Yeah. When Francis was born, she stole my heart. I was helped by the midwife, the one to deliver her, and the first one to hold her. And an experience that has stayed with me forever. <laughs> she was a very determined little girl, not to give up easily. She only crawled for about a week. She was much more interested in walking. It was the same with learning to ride her bike. It wasn't long till she wanted the stabilizers taken off. When she fell off and landed head first in a ditch at the side of the road, it didn't dampen her determination. The only thing she was upset about was about the time it took for us to get, get her out, <laughs> as we were laughing so much. <laughs> as many of you will know, Francis is a scientist, and her interest in science showed itself when at the age of four, when her mom put petrol in the car, Francis asked why. <laughs> Denise told her that it was to make the car go, but that explanation did not satisfy her. She wanted to know exactly how it made the car go. <laughs> That's what I had to do when I returned from home from work that evening, explain exactly how the engine works. <laughs> uh, she loves music and singing, and at the age of seven, she joined the church choir and started to learn to play the violin at school. She progressed well, and joined the Worc Worcestershire Youth Orchestra, where she met her bridesmaid Sally. Doesn't mean drinking. And soon became good friends. Francis has always been a loving and loyal friend, and this is shown by having several of her friends from school here today. And it is lovely to see you all again and to the friends that she has made through Guy. Frances is determined to do her best in everything that she does, from making cakes, running the Guy unit, or her work as a teacher. And I am sure that she will show the same determination and loyalty Mark, <laughs> throughout your life together. So I ask you now all to stand and raise your glasses to toast Frances and her mark, sending them all good wishes as they start their married life together. Yes. Francis and Mark. Thank you, Stuart. <laughs> no. 
I'm actually quite loud anyway, so. <laughs> right. So, for me, hasn't been written. So, good luck. Um, <laughs> but thank you all for coming. Thank you for being there for myself and Fran. But I've got some nice thank yous as well for the people that have been helping out the whole of the time that have been doing all the wedding planning and everything up until today. So, also I want to say thank you to... Get the right pages first. <laughs> So I want to say thank you to Lisa for making our, that lovely reading. I want to say thank you to Jo for also the lovely reading that she did as well today. Over there. And also to say thank you to Gemma for playing sort of all the DM piano beautifully. <laughs> And we have a little thing for you. So if the uh, bridesmaids could just grab something for her from the bar area for a week. Oh, it is, oh, it is. So, Joe the Viper over there. Got Gemma over here. And Lisa at the bar. To the ushers. They've been grand today. They've been having amazing this morning, especially John. I ended up organising most of the stuff around me. <laughs> so we got. They're hiding over there now. <laughs> Will and Ollie? Yeah. yeah. They've been running around, putting the glasses out, taking any hassle I can off me. Thank you very much. Bridesmaids, so how beautiful they look today. Those dresses are stunning, and I'm sure you all agree. Yeah. 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 <laughs> They've actually helped out with all the canapes that we've had today. So they've been making the canapes this morning, put them all together, <coughs> and, uh, and I'm sure you've tasted every single one of them. <laughs> Right, now to all these beautiful flowers that we've been seeing, I've got a massive thank you to Joyce. She has been working so hard with all these beautiful flowers here at the church. Amazing. Thank you so much for all your hard work. And we've got a lovely present for yourself as well. Now for the part where you make you cry. <laughs> so, the parents. So, <laughs> yeah, good time. <laughs> so, mum and dad, you brought me up with every mum in the world. You look after me every time. Well, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> me already. <laughs> Thank you so much for everything you have done for me. 
cannot thank you enough. I can't say that. I've got the words to say how much I want to thank you. And I've got you for you both, from me and Fran. Thank you so much.
but no one it was fine. <laughs> um, the week she was dying, um, Sister Indy came on um, the jewellers where we got our wedding rings from, and it's gorgeous. And it was just it's the colours she likes, I like it, it's green, my colour. And literally I was like, that is the ring from my mouth. Yes. <laughs> 